It's a formula that helps you find solutions even when the equations aren't very nice. Nasty fractions, decimals with no end, or radicals. The quadratic formula is special to quadratic equations, which can have one solution, two solutions, or none. The quadratic formula says that if a quadratic equation is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then you can find its solutions, the values of x, by inserting the coefficients, the number multiplied by a variable, into a formula. That's the first step. Remember, a, b, and c are any real numbers. The a can't equal zero, but the b or c can equal zero. Next, note the operation symbol in the formula. That means that the equation can be broken into two separate equations, one using the plus sign in front of the radical, and the other using the minus sign in front of the radical. Sometimes it's easier to use the formula if the equation has really large or nasty numbers. In general, though, it's faster to factor using unfoil and then the multiplication property of zero when you can. If you are doing problems which can't be factored, watch out for these two things. First, b means to use the opposite of b. So, if b in the standard form of the equation is a positive number, then change it to the opposite, which would be a negative number. And if b is negative, then change it to positive in the formula. Second, be careful when simplifying under the radical. The order of operations dictates that you square the value of b first, and then multiply the last three factors together before subtracting them from the square of b. Some sign errors can occur if you're not careful. You can apply the quadratic formula to any quadratic equation to find the solutions. But whenever the answers come out as integers, or fractions, it means that the equation could be factored by using the unfoil method instead of the quadratic formula. For example, this quadratic equation happens to factor. So, x equals negative 4 and x equals 1. Even though this can be factored, that doesn't mean you shouldn't use the quadratic formula. How would it look using a equals 1, b equals 3, and c equals negative 4? It looks like this. x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 4 over 2 times 1, which equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 plus 16 over 2 equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 25 over 2 equals negative 3 plus or minus 5 over 2 equals negative 3 minus 5 over 2 or negative 3 plus 5 over 2. And as you might expect, the solution is x equals negative 4, x equals 1.